Hey everyone, it's Travis here from Travis.media doing a video to help out those who don't know how to code, do CSS, and make style changes to their websites. So there's two reasons for me making this video. The first one is, as I just said, um, you have a website and you don't know CSS, you don't know how to style it, and you just need to make some basic changes. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, it's fairly easy. In the second group, that I made this video for are the developers who have those clients who want very simple changes and they want them pretty frequently. So if they say, um, hey, this blue button right here, um, I want it a little lighter. So you make it lighter and then they write you again and they say, uh, I want it a little bit darker and you make it darker and then they're like, hey, I want it red. Oh, you want it red? Okay. And, and on and on. Hey, I want this font a little smaller. Hey, that's too small. Let's make it a little bigger. And on and on and on. So this video is going to give them away. You can point them to this. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show them how to go in the, in, into the developer console and just make those changes temporarily themselves and get the exact um, color for you, the exact font, all of that stuff that you already know how to do. This can be a resource for you to point them to. Um, I have three things I want to talk about in this video, um, and I'll try to make them brief. Um, and there are three options for these two groups of people. All right, the first one, the first option is the page builder option. So the page builder I use on some of my pages is Elementor. Um, it's newer than Beaver Builder, which is another great option. Um, but Elementor gives you this drag and drop a widget screen where you can just drag these widgets onto your page and boom you're done so it's more than just styling your page you're actually building your page now let me show you that real briefly so if I go to new go to post it's gonna create a new post for me and I want to edit with Elementor okay so here's my page this is how easy it would be alright I want a heading I'm going to call this heading and I want it to be green and I want it to um, be italics. I want it to be bold. All of these things. I want it to be bigger, uh, smaller, um, whatever you want. It's simple. This makes it very easy. Um, there are also a bunch of other great pro elements like a flip box a how about uh, Google Maps let's throw a map in there all right coca-cola London I all right um block quotes countdown timers price tables nav menus forms oh look at this form boom so that that's one option it's very easy Elementor itself is free but the pro addition to it is about 50 bucks and it's loaded and it seems every other week they come out with new stuff so that is a great option all right so second is going to be what the kind of uh, reason for me doing this video is so well, I'm going to show you how to make the changes but also how to find out the exact changes you want if you want to send them to your developer all right so let's do an example here um, here I have the website wpbeginner.com all right, say that this is your website and you want to make some style changes. Either you want to send them to your developer or you want to do them yourself. How can you tell exactly what you want to change things to? Um, well, I'm using Google Chrome. Almost all the browsers have some sort of developer tools that allow you to manipulate the uh, styles in the website temporarily. When you refresh, it's going to go away, but it, it, it gives you an idea of what you want to do to it before you commit to it. So anyway, with Google Chrome, you would go up to this three dots, click that, go to More Tools and Developer Tools. That's going to open up this panel down here. And I am in the Elements tab. Over here, you're going to see your actual page HTML. And on this side, you're going to see your styles or your CSS. To select elements, you're going to go over to this button. It says select an element in the page to inspect it. All right, so you want to click that. And that turns blue and you're gonna see now when you hover over things it selects them so let's say this orange up here let's change this to something else so I'm gonna select this orange click it and we're gonna see down here it has a class of orange ribbon 
All right, so you know you're on the right thing. If you put your mouse on it, you see that it's selected up here. All right, so that's my HTML. But if I go over here to style, I see that it has a background of orange. It has a border bottom of a little darker orange. All right, so let's say you wanted to change this to yellow. And you didn't want to be like, um, hey, developer, change it to yellow. I'm not sure if I want dark or light yellow, but just try one, and then I'll get back to you. And then 20 emails later, you're like, still a little bit brighter, a little bit darker. So this is a good way to knock out exactly what you're looking for. Let's go to background. Click on this color picker, and it's going to open up this for you. So what you want to do is you want to find the color you want. So I'll move this over to yellow. I like that. All right, there it is. Border bottom, I like it orange, but I want the words black. Let's say you want the words black. Actually, the best thing for you to do is just to click on this again and go and get the words exactly. Okay, so let's just start with this. All right, orange ribbon, ribbon gaps. The color here is white. Let's say you want it black. So click that, go down to black. Now I want these other words to also be black. So let me go to the select an element button, click it again, go up to these words, click it. I want this to be black. All right, and there you go. So when your developer says, what color yellow do you want? Select this, click your yellow, and you can say, I want F0E244. That's exactly what you want. And that's great, okay? So let's say um, my blog titles, my blog post titles are a little bit too small. I want them to be a little bigger. S click this button, select your element. All right, so right here I'm going to select my words. And I'm going to see over here that my font size is 24. I want it a little bigger, so let's change it to 28. There it is. It's even bigger. And hey, I don't like the uh, font weight. Um, I want it less. Let's have it 400. Boom. So when your developer says, what font size do you want? You can say 28 pixels. Now let's say you wanted to make these little changes yourself. You could do this. All right, let me get rid of this. So let's look at this. So let's say I have a blog post and I say, hey, uh, if I inspect my own H1 title, let's say that I'm like, that's not quite big enough. I want the font size to be, let's see, 3.7. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. You're going to see here it says style.css line 920. So what you can do, you can go to your dashboard. From your dashboard, you go to your appearance and editor. Whoops. Appearance and editor. And that opens up your theme editor. Now normally if you're doing a lot of changes, you, you'd want to do this FTP, especially if you're messing with the functions.php file. You don't want to do that from in here. But I find that little changes can just be done here. Uh, maybe not best practice, but for little changes, simple. I don't see a problem with it. So, if we go back over here, we see that the entry title was what I want to change, and that it is on line 920. So I'm going to scroll down, and over here you see the line numbers. So I'm going to scroll to line 920, and I see entry title right there. Here's where I would change it to 3.7. And at that point, I just go down here and click Update. And that's all there is to it. So um, the oops. so the developer tools will help you a lot. And it's, again, just as simple as going to the three dots, choosing more tools and developer tools, selecting what you want. Let's select this comment span here and I want to change my color to orange or white or I want to pick my own red and you tell your developer BE 3232 or if I want uh, 
more padding. I can just change this to 29, 50. I mean, and you may not know what all of this stuff means. You can always look it up. Like, for instance, um, text transform uppercase. What is text transform? Text transform CSS. First thing that comes up right here, w3schools.com, the text transform property. This tells us um, the text transform property controls the capitalization of text. And here's the values. You can capitalize, you can uppercase, lowercase. So you can always look this stuff up. But just in general, that's a quick way to um, make temporary changes on your site. Now you see this red? The moment I refresh, it's going to be gone. Which is a good thing, you know, if you're just testing things out. So anyway, that's the second method. And that's a way to make easy changes to your site. The third method is to actually go and learn HTML and CSS. When I started my first website, I used to have to write the theme company. And I would write them like, hey, my font is too small. I want it a little bigger. And they would tell me how to make it bigger. And I was back and forth all the time with some kind of CSS changes. And eventually I learned HTML and CSS. And I could do a lot with my website. So if you could take, uh, you know, I would say two months tops, maybe probably one month, you could learn the basics and do pretty much whatever you wanted to your own site. Um, but I've written a post here at travis.media, and I'll link this. Um, it is called Learn to Code and Get a Job in Six Months, a Step-by-Step -step Blueprint. Now, I'm not saying you need to learn to code or get a job in six months, but I did lay out a blueprint here that you could follow just the first month, okay? And I always reference lynda.com. It's one of my favorite teaching resources. Um, what you could do, month one, the basics. You could do week one, programming basics in HTML. Week two, week three. And look, by week three, you would know a lot. Now you can skip this GitHub and Git and go straight to Essential Training 2 of CSS and you would be far ready to um, style your own site. But you could just do the first three weeks here. Programming Basics, HTML, HTML Essential Training, and CSS Essential Training. And you're good to go. So that's the third method. Take a little time and learn it. If you're investing in your own website and actually growing it, it would be a great thing to do and it would be super helpful. So anyway, hope that was helpful. I'll put the links below. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.